A school bus driver arrested for DUI with dozens of children on board at the time this happened in the Diablo Grande neighborhood in Stanislaus County. And now police are hailing one of the students who was on that bus as a hero after that student was the one that called 911. Fox 40's Doug Johnson has more from Crow's Landing. Well, according to the California Highway Patrol, this was not a DUI involving alcohol, but instead one involving controlled substances. They wouldn't say any more than that, but the parents at several of the schools where these kids were heading are horrified to hear this happen. It's, it's shocking. I don't, I don't know what's going through these people's minds. David Virgin lives next to Bonita Elementary School in Crow's Landing, where his two nephews also go. Not just my nephews, every kid, every kid's parents. I had my own kids. They used to go to school here and I hope that ne that never happened to us. What happened, according to the CHP, is 55 year old Carolyn Denise Ray, a school bus driver, was stopped Monday and arrested for driving under the influence while on the job and with kids on the bus at the time. We think it's about 40 to 50 students, all ranging from kindergarten up to fifth grade. In fact, it was one of those kids who called 911 to report Ray's driving through the Diablo Grande neighborhood. We are relieved that the child knew who to call in an emergency situation. So I, I consider this kid a hero. Ray was charged with DUI as well as child endangerment. However, the CHP is not yet saying what type of drug she was on, nor how far over the limit she was. A chemical test was taken. Those samples will be forwarded to the Department of Justice for further analysis. The CHP says the school bus was serving Bonita Elementary in Crow's Landing and Von Ringer Elementary in Newman. The Newman Crow's Landing Unified School District says Ray works as a subcontractor for first student transportation. That company declined to comment on her arrest. Something could have happened. It could have wrecked, killed all the kids. She should be banned for, for life for having anything to do with kids, especially at school. Now it's unclear if that school bus driver will lose her job or not, but one thing is clear. The superintendent at this school district said he never wants her to drive for his students ever again. In Crow's Landing tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you. Don